Hello my friends. The United States is one of the countries with the largest agricultural industries in the world. Every year, the country produces billions of pounds of agricultural products to feed 331 million people, as well as export to many other countries. In today's video, we're going to the vast fields of the United States to see how the harvesting of nine of the most popular crops here happens. The first place we will visit in this video is a tomato field in the San Joaquin Valley of California. The beginning of July is the time when the harvest takes place in most of the tomato fields in California. In 2022, the area of agricultural land used for tomato production in the state was 233,000 acres, accounting for 56% of the country's tomato growing area. Billions of tomatoes will be loaded onto trucks thanks to this harvesting machine. On each of these harvesters, a worker will be tasked with removing the remaining tomato stems. Each year, tomato farms in California harvest between 11 and 11.3 million tons of tomatoes. In addition to California, Florida is also one of the states with the largest tomato growing area in the country with 43,000 acres, accounting for 9% of the country's growing area. After harvesting, thousands of tons of tomatoes will be transported to the factory for processing. In 2021, the value of fresh tomatoes in the United States is $613 million, and the value of processed tomatoes is $1.27 billion. In recent years, the United States has always been the second largest tomato producer in the world. At the top of the list is China. The second place we will visit in this video is a sweet potato field in the state of Mississippi. Unlike the process of harvesting thousands of tons of sweet potatoes in North Carolina, most of the sweet potatoes in Mississippi are harvested with this machine. The job of this harvester is to dig up all the sweet potatoes from the ground, then separate the vines from the sweet potatoes and transfer them to wooden crates. In 2021, Mississippi has 29,000 acres of farmland used to grow sweet potatoes, and the yield is about 276,000 tons, ranking third on the list of the most sweet potato producing states in the United States. After harvesting, Hundreds of sweet potatoes in this field will be transported to the factory for packaging. We are currently on a pistachio farm in California. The end of August to October every year is the time when the harvesting process takes place in most of the pistachio farms. Currently, in California, about 370,000 acres of land is used to grow pistachios. These pistachio trees will be shaken so strongly that all of the nuts on the tree will fall. In 2021, California's pistachio production is over 1 billion pounds, representing 98% of the country's production. The remaining 2% of US pistachio production is produced on several farms in Arizona and New Mexico. 
Once harvested, these boxes filled with pistachios are loaded onto trucks and taken to the factory for processing within 24 hours. These workers are being transported to a field in Florida to pick sweet corn. Most of them are illegal migrant workers from Mexico. After moving to the sweet corn field, their job is to pick millions of ears of corn and pack it right here. The sweet corn harvest in Florida usually starts in October and lasts until the end of June the next year. On average, each worker working in this cornfield will receive about $80 after more than 10 hours of work. In recent years, the area planted to sweet corn in Florida has remained at 37,000 acres, accounting for 39% of the country's sweet corn area. In 2021, the total value of the sweet corn crop in the United States is $777 million. The fifth place that we will visit in this video is a strawberry farm in the state of California. Every year, about 53,000 workers flock to strawberry farms in California to work. They are mainly from Mexico and Guatemala. Strawberry fields are also home to the largest number of immigrant workers in the United States. It is these workers' jobs to pick the ripe strawberries and then put them in boxes. Once harvested, boxes filled with strawberries will be quickly shipped to a collection site where these workers will be marked on their field cards to receive money at the end of the day. On average, each strawberry picker here earns between $75 and $90 per day. Here's what's going on in a celery field in California. Here, thousands of celery plants will be cut and packed by workers from Guatemala. In 2021, in California, around 28,000 acres of farmland is used to produce celery, accounting for 93% of the country's celery growing area. Annual celery production in the United States is about 15.7 million tons and brings in a revenue of $474 million. The celery harvest usually lasts from 6 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. On average, each worker working here receives an average salary of about $9 per hour. The seventh place we will visit in this video is a cranberry farm in Wisconsin. These two men are pulling billions of cranberries close to the pump to load them into a truck. As of 2021, around 21,000 acres of land in Wisconsin is used to grow cranberries. The sandy and peat bogs of central and northern Wisconsin are perfect growing conditions for this plant. In 2021, cranberry production in the United States is 7.9 million barrels. Each barrel of cranberries weighs 100 pounds. Currently, Wisconsin is the state with the largest cranberry production in the United States with 4.9 million barrels accounting for 62% of the national production. Billions of cranberries, once harvested, are sent to the factory to be made into sauces, juices, or dried. Here's what's going on at a blueberry farm in Georgia. This machine is used to drop whole blueberries, then they'll be placed in plastic trays. 
For many years, blueberries have been the most produced fruit in Georgia, with around 18,000 acres and an annual production of approximately 39.3 million pounds. Billions of blueberries are harvested and sent to factories for packaging or juice production. The last place we will visit in this video is a cucumber field in Michigan. Harvesting millions of cucumbers is quite similar to the process of harvesting sweet potatoes in Mississippi. In 2021, the United States has about 43,000 acres of farmland used for cucumber production, of which Florida is the state that produces the largest amount of fresh cucumbers in the country, and Michigan is the state that produces the largest number of pickled cucumbers. After harvesting, millions of cucumbers here will be transported to the factory to produce pickled cucumbers. Have you ever eaten pickled cucumber before? Let us know what you think about this dish. Hello my friends, today we are going to a large scale chicken farm in Indiana to see how thousands of chickens here are raised. And in the next part of the video, we will visit an organic chicken farm in Ohio. According to statistics released in 2021, there are about 825 commercial chicken farms in Indiana. These farms currently provide about 6,250 jobs and generate about 2.4 billion dollars in revenue. Thousands of chicks after hatching will be moved here for health checks and vaccinations. Eligible chicks will be beaked using infrared technology. Beak trimming is a must on large-scale farms, which helps prevent chickens from pecking each other or damaging eggs. And of course, ineligible chickens will be discarded and transferred to another production process. After the inspection process is complete, thousands of chickens will be brought to this farm to start a new life. With a large area equipped with modern equipment, this chicken farm can raise about 13,000 chickens at the same time. This is a broiler farm, so these chickens will be kept in cages for life until they are eligible to move on to the chicken processing factory. Currently in the United States, there are about 25,000 broiler farms and about 9 billion chickens are slaughtered each year. The feed for the chickens at this farm is mainly corn, soybeans and mixed feed. In 2021, up to 1.2 bushels of corn and 500 million bushels of soybeans were used to feed poultry farms across the country. These are one month old chickens and their daily job is just to eat, sleep and walk around in these cages. Thousands of chickens raised on this farm will never see the sun for their entire lives. At this farm, the chickens are considered mature when they are three months old at which point the average weight of each bird is seven pounds. This is a conveyor system that helps transport chicken manure to the outside of the farm. Each day, this chicken farm produces about 1,200 pounds of chicken manure. After about three months of being raised in captivity, Thousands of chickens at this farm are eligible to be transferred to the chicken processing factory. Currently, in the United States, about 23.7 million chickens are slaughtered every day, and the state that produces the most chicken meat is Iowa. Meanwhile, the number of chickens slaughtered each day in Indiana is about 2.3 million. Thousands of chickens will be transported by conveyor system to the outside. 
The truck will then take them to the chicken processing plant. This is what goes on inside a chicken processing plant where 175 chickens are slaughtered each minute. Currently, there are about 5,300 chicken processing plants in the United States. At this factory, thousands of chickens will be dipped in boiling water before moving on to feather cleaning. This device will clean chicken feathers in just 30 seconds. Next, the chicken legs will be cut off and after that, their internal organs will also be cleaned. The chickens will then be placed in a brine tank to clean for three minutes. This is the process of filtering chickens. These workers will separate the thighs, wings and breast. Next, we'll visit an organic chicken farm in Ohio. The number of chickens with eggs on this farm is always maintained at 500 chickens. Every morning, hundreds of chickens will be released into the pasture so that they are free to dig and eat small insects. According to statistics of the United States Department of Agriculture, the number of organic broilers in the country is 19 million and the number of organic laying hens is about 15 million. Most organic chicken farms are concentrated in states like California, Virginia and Pennsylvania. The nests for laying hens on this farm are designed very simply. Every day this farm harvests about 485 eggs and the eggs are always sold out immediately after harvesting. In the evening, these chickens will be fed for about two hours before going to bed. Their main feed is corn and soybeans in the form of tablets. At the end of this video, we will see how building a chicken farm works.